שלום עקרם, יהו בהשם, יהו שי, בהשם וואו דש, תסברה מנש די שיקם כולנו שעד לסן, פלא הופה לט, שלום תודה, אפוסלס ונדה אלדס, ונדה עקרם עופר גורמיסטון, שלום תהיו, שלום שלום שלום, יהיה סובה, it's Babylon man, you know, since not looking good for Babylon, so uh, you know, expect a uh, Lord to have uh, <laughs> have this place experience more uh, turmoil in these coming days, all right? Because uh, it's all part of prophecy, all right? And, uh, our people have to wake up and uh, understand that the Lord Yabashim Shai is about to uh, bring heavy judgment upon Babylon, all right? So, um, let me read this uh, scripture real quick. This is from the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 51 verse 22. Alright. So it says, Thus said the Lord, uh, Thus said thy Lord, Yahweh, and thy power that pleaded the cause of his people, Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dredges, the dregs of the cup of my fury, thou shalt no more drink it again. All right. So those days of us, you know, being the bottom of the barrel, is coming to an end, and uh, we just have to prepare for a new rulership that the Lord Yabashim Shai is uh, building before our eyes, all right? It really based upon righteousness, okay? And uh, that's what the world needs. That's what our people need so daily. And uh, this current uh, rulership on the face of the earth has to go. It's economic system. It's uh, so detrimental to life upon the face of the earth. And Lord has already decided to uh, snuff out the, uh, the light of the wicked, all right, so uh, Isaiah 51 verse uh, 23 says, all right, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, bow down, that we may go over, and thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. So these elites and, uh, you know, and their so-called people, they don't know uh have to drink of that cup too, you know, the cup of captivity, you know, they're going to be oppressed too in the kingdom, they have to serve their term, all right, for violating the law, statutes, and commandments of uh, Hamashiach, Yahushai, all right, and, uh, you know, it's, it's only fair, it's, it's a just balance, all right, because uh, when you read the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 1, it says, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. And uh, when the world is filled with abomination, what do you think is going on? The people are dealing falsely. The elites of the world, of this world is ruling the world in unrighteousness. It's, losing, it's ruling the world with evil. All right? Always pushing iniquity upon the people. And the Lord has already decided that uh, that time you know, for all the madness taking place, it has to uh, has to come to an end. All right, so it's beautiful. So Proverbs chapter eleven verse one says, "A false balance is an abomination to the Lord." But a just weight is his delight. All right, and uh, Jesus' rulership <laughs> based on falsehoods. You know, that's the reason why. Uh, you know, the Lord Abba Shemasha allowed him, all right, to be uh, released for a short season, <laughs> you know, to prove to the world that this this nation of Edomites, man, they're nothing but deceivers. And uh, the world has seen it, you know. The Lord gave uh, the East Edomites enough rope to hang themselves, you know. And the scripture also says that uh, by death, by their fruits, thou shalt know them. All right, and the economy of the world is not in any good shape. 
Why? Because the, the elites of the Edomites, man, they've messed everything up. And now they want to hold the people ransom. <laughs> yeah, so the Lord has to send uh, his son, Yahushai, all right, to unshackle our people, you know, to get them to get them out of the hands of the dragon, out of the jaws of the dragon. So you see on the screen, I just got this uh, quick uh, snippet from uh, the Silver Report on Court. It tells you clearly about uh, the the state of the economy. It's not good. Job loss after job loss. You know, they say, oh, well, we're hiring. But for how long? When there is no funding, you know, there is no uh, employment. The businesses that need to be running in that people you need to use and not run their small restaurants, small businesses are going out of uh, operation. So how can the economy be sustainable? Yeah. And you realize it's all by design because they have to squeeze people into a corner to oppress them. All right. And the uh, the desire to get the, the birthright back. All right. So the Lord has already laid the snare for Babylon that uh, she can no longer remove her neck from, okay? And these politicians are just going on, you know, you know, hook, line, and sinker, all right? So I'm going to read a precept from the book of uh, uh, Sirach, chapter 34, all right? So the economy is not really, really in good shape, all right? Mass layoffs and follows, and then next year, you know, it's going to be... T- tough on families and uh, over dependence upon the government is very 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 bad especially when you have poor leadership okay and uh, you just have to just watch and see what these so-called politicians are gonna do and then you realize who the evil you know who the evil nation upon the world upon the earth is okay so uh book of uh Sirach chapter 34 says, um, let me start from verse 21. It says, The bread of the needy is their life. He that deferred him thereof, all right, is a man of blood, all right. So, uh, this is uh, Sirach chapter 34, verse 21. The bread of the uh, the bread of the needy is their life. He that defrauded him thereof is a man of blood, and that's Esau for you. Okay, a man of blood. As here, <laughs> he has not hated blood. Blood shall pursue him. Yeah. So uh, he uh, obtained everything he had by fraud and murder, and. Uh, the Lord there by Shema Shai is going to pay him back, you know, in full, <laughs> you know, double. Yep. So, uh, you know, you just look at all the injustice upon the face of the earth and you realize, you know, how long is it going to take. And then the Lord just tells you, don't marvel at it. You know, the Lord sees everything that's taking place. All right. So verse 22 says, uh, he that take it away, his neighbor's living, slayeth him. And he that defrauded the labor of his hire is a blood shedder. Yeah, so when you see all those folks complain about their restaurants being shut down and they're being fined and arrested and uh, 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 held you know, behind bars for a certain period of time, then you understand that uh, the Lord was always on point when he said that. Okay. That whosoever defrauded the labor of his hire is a blood shedder. So that's basically a murder. You know, your blood, sweat, and tears should never be interfered with when it comes to, uh, you know, your sustenance, all right? But Esau doesn't care. So that's the reason why when the Lord judges him, no one's going to care about uh, him, all right? Because uh, <laughs> most of them are going to put out that vibration of justice, all right, the vibration of justice is coming back upon the face of the earth. Not that, uh, you know, madness we have to deal with. Okay, so uh, the book of James chapter 5 it tells you also. 
I'm going to read uh, verse 4 the point. It says, Behold the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you, kept by fraud. Yeah, so Esau's basically holding back, you know, people from moving on, man. Our people, you know, in captivity. So, uh, what else? We'll carry it again. James chapter 5, verse 4. Behold the hire of the laborers who have ripped down your fields, which is of you, kept by, by fraud, kept back by fraud, cried. And the cries of them which have ripped are uh, entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth, right? The Lord of troops, the Lord of armies. Yeah, so uh, that's what's coming. You know, war. War, war, war. So that's why you have to uh, be careful. When you're having business dealings, you know, you don't want to hold back people's wages. And the law doesn't like that stuff. Okay, the law has already set setting guidelines to make sure that, uh, you know, people get paid before the song goes down. Okay, you can't be holding back Jake, you know, when you know he needs his money for that day. So, the Lord set the standard, so you got to stick to it. But Esau doesn't care, you know, make you wait uh, two weeks makes you with a week makes you with a whole month yeah so that's not good so the lord is not pleased with that type of management so he has to uh kick kick out this management and bring in a proper management team all right the government of the elect all right under hamashak yahushai and uh don't be surprised man when the economy for the tanks really hard all right during the uh you know, the second quarter of uh, the fiscal year coming up, okay? So, a uh, uh, final precept will be from the book of uh, Job. Job, the 34th chapter. I'm going to read from uh, 26 to 28. All right. Uh, so, it says... Uh, Uh, let me read uh, verse 25. Job chapter 34, verse 25. Therefore he knoweth their works, and he overturned them in the night, so that they are destroyed. So destruction is coming upon these elites very soon. All right, the Lord has seen their works, and uh, they are not pleasing to him. So in the night they are going down. All right. So, uh, verse 26 says, He striketh them as wicked men in the open sight of others. Okay, so the elites of this world, they're going to be judged before the whole world. You know, that's why uh, <laughs> when you read the scripture, it tells you about, uh, you know, to, uh, about it, the weak sees the Esau. And, uh, you know, he's going to become a proverb and a byword. <laughs> Okay, and then it says, uh, verse 27, Because they turned back from him and would not consider any of his ways, so that they caused the cry of the poor to come unto him, and he heareth the cry of the afflicted. Yeah, so uh, the, the, the afflicted or the elect are upset with Esau's worship, and the Lord going to intervene all right the lord is not uh pleased with uh his servants just upset day and night of all the unjust uh, acts the unjust decrees the oppression the murder the uh you know distortion of the words of the lord and blasphemy and everything they make uh you to be uh you know <laughs> a, a, a so-called lunatic for having faith in the lord and the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. So what do you expect the Lord to do? So uh, I just keep it that brief, man, you know, because the whole nation of Babylon is going down the drain and there's nothing, you know, that uh, they can do 
all the stimulus bills and all the uh and the legislation they're gonna be uh enacting as of uh the first of uh next year it's not really really gonna have a, a positive impact because uh the end of Babylon is at hand all right and there's gonna be more riots in the streets because uh, of the pride of this uh you know so called politicians and uh let me just uh, get that precept in Second Ezra, man. It's so uh, important. Let me so I could read it again. Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse eighteen. For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, and all right, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Okay. And uh, it's, it's just a sign of the times you have to deal with, man. Because once folks' financial, uh, you know, stature is not in good standing, everything else is going to be put into question, all right? And that's one thing about this world, when it's so hell-bent on uh, a kind of, you know, measuring, you know, a, a kind of, how you say, the, a kind of standard, Everything else falls apart. But when you have a spiritual standard, you can't fall. That's why we, you know, the, the apostles stress about uh, building up your, your economy, you know, spiritually, okay? Uh, you know, dedicate yourself to the words of the Lord, okay? And uh, I get that precept in the book of uh, Sirach. It's just uh, necessary. All right, so it's going to be from the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 39. It says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof, which seek out the wisdom of all the ancients and be occupied in prophecies. All right, and that's what uh, the man of the Lord will be concerned about the prophecies and uh you know it's gonna keep us uh sane in these last days all right a lot of folks are gonna go out there tonight and uh celebrate and have a good time and get drunk and get themselves into all types of mischievous acts and become victims of uh you know irrelevant uh attention so uh hey that's on them but for the man of the Lord, it's going to be a sober moment. And I pray that I can, you know, just uh, stay circumspect, all right? So verse 2 says, He will keep the sayings of the renowned men, and where subtle parables are, he will be there also. And that's the mindset of a man of the Lord. And, uh, you know, you just got to pray the Lord allows you to keep it with you at all times, Okay. So that's just the point that I can hope you've been edified and, uh, you know, never let your so-called financial situation, you know, uh, be a, a, a burden on your mind, all right? You know, cast all your uh, trust and your cares upon Hamashiach, Yamashai. And that's, uh, it's, it's just that simple, you know, it's not complicated and uh, everything else will be fine, okay? Because, uh, you know, we're almost out of here, Shalom.